Okay, everybody. I just didn't feel like the Hercules today, so I didn't drag that dredge down here. Got to get it down to spank and then back up and all that. So I figured I'd go around here and check some of the holes that other people have dug and look around for a spot to dredge myself. This is probably one of the areas I'm going to launch it. Not today. My back just doesn't feel like Hercules today. So anyhow, I set up my little sluice over there. I'll show it to you. And I got a bucket of material. <laughs> There's only one real efficient way to get gold out of this river, and that's with a dredge. Because you can't you can't hardly get it with a shovel. But anyway, I'm gonna take you over here and we're gonna run this bucket. And we'll see if I got anything at all. I'll bring you back home when I start that. Okay. Go ahead and get this bucket over there. Sure got plenty of heavy stuff in it, I can tell you that. Got plenty of heavy stuff. Maybe that'll work. Pick some more water to go through it, too. Not get a lot. Oh. There we go. We got it running now. Surprisingly, the water's not all that cold just yet, so when I launch that dredge, I'm hoping tomorrow, I'm just going to put my water shoes on and wear a pair of shorts and come down here and open up a hole. So, we'll see.
I hear somebody's motor running downstream there. Somebody's drinking. It ain't me today. Let's get off there, man. Yeah, I've been up and down this area looking, and I did about 10 pans, and I see a spot where somebody dredged down there, right behind the camera there's a spot, there's a spot up there, there's a spot I'd like to dredge, and a, a hundred other spots I'd like to dredge, but I need something big enough to move these boulders, and I, I don't have anything, so, <laughs> I'm just kind of doing the best I can with it, get that dredge down here. Be able to work under some of them boulders, but that's the way you really work to. But you start moving the stuff out from under them, they start to move, and it's not always in the direction that you think they're going to. So you're down here by yourself, you don't necessarily want to get your hands stuck underneath the boulder or a foot or even the nozzle of your dread. Especially if you've got nothing to move the boulder down. Oh. As heavy as this bucket was, I know I'm going to have some, some black sand and garnet sand. But I don't know if I'm going to have any gold or not. See nothing at the top of it. Usually you can see something at the top of it. it it'll catch it right at the top sometimes.
try to get, get the pan to clean this loose out because that's the way you do this one. Give it a couple minutes to run anyhow. Watch out with them scoops. Some of them are just like sailboats if you get them in the water right now. Won't be the first time somebody saw me chase a scoop down a river. You can always tell the rocks that have been here a long time because they're, they're slippery. Got moss and slime on them. I should have put that scoop over here. We'll see if we can do this. <clears throat> That's actually pretty good. <clears throat> Yeah, if I could move that boulder or this boulder I'm sitting on or the one over here or the one behind you or that one there, I might be able to do pretty good dredging. I got a winch, <laughs> but it's just one of a, a small hand winch. But I don't think I'm moving something that big. I had somebody to help me, that'd be different. But you can end up out here alone. Unless I'm digging with Benzo or somebody. Benzo and JP. Like Chris V. Chef V. Or Dan from PA Patriot. Dan's so happy to get a job, he, he can't do nothing but work anymore. God bless him. I understand he was out of work for a long time and he had a lot of, a lot of bad things happen to him then. With his truck and everything. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, the only efficient way to run this river is with a 
with a dredge. So I got like nine more days up here or something like that, so I'm gonna have to get the damn thing out and run it. Didn't see anything the first time. Oh, I believe there is some in there. It's a tiny step. Ah, there it is. I believe that's gold right there. End of my finger. Little tiny specks. Yeah, there's a little bit of gold in there. Little bit. So I'll probably dump it in the concentrate bucket. You might be able to see that. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll see if I can get more gold to show you next time. <laughs> so anyway, I'm about done with prospecting for today. I did enough work. Now I got it kind of kind of cleared the way for my for me to get the dredge down in here. It's not going to be pretty, but it can be done. I'll just have to take everything apart and then put it back together down here. So if that's what I got to do, I guess that's what I got to do. If I want to get gold on the wild amanuci, I'm going to have to dredge it. So y'all know what I'm going to say. Yeah, that's going to be pretty getting that dredge down here. The fun part's always getting it back up there. So, anyway, like I said, you know what I'm going to say. I'll see you all next time I see you.